Here at the South Australian Research and Development Institute, SADI, at their glass houses in Adelaide, a decade-long research program is reaching its final stage. Some of the strains are performing well, like that SARDI 1000 is almost as good as the nitrogen yeah. and, and way better than the nil. The outcome? A new commercial acid-tolerant strain of rhizobia for Group F to improve the nodulation of bean and lentil in low pH soils. This trial in the glass house is specifically examining the compatibility of some of the most promising new rhizobia strains we have with a range of lentil cultivars. Once released, the strain will have a substantial impact on the southern growing region, where pulse production is expanding into higher rainfall areas that come with characteristic low pH soils. We believe that it probably has potential to improve the production of beans and pulses on around 100,000 hectares of ground, so it's quite significant. This SARDI research, made possible through GRDC investment, will ensure the inoculant strain is compatible with the 10 most popular lentil cultivars before it is released to the Australian market. Growers are always asking, when's the new strain going to be available? And we always say, there's a lot of hurdles we need to jump through first, and that's to ensure that the strain you get is a quality strain. It is likely that if the data supports the release of the strain, it will be available in 2021. But there is a different experiment underway that will deliver results much sooner. No obvious nodulation on that one. On the opposite side of the glasshouse, a hydroponics trial is comparing the pH sensitivity of two contemporary favour bean cultivars. This re research is responding to, um, I guess, feedback from industry. And as they've grown beans on more acid soils, um, growers and, and, and their agronomists have reported um, inconsistent crops and, and linked that to poor nodulation. A first of its kind for the industry, this trial will address that knowledge gap, giving growers and advisors a better understanding at what point nodulation is compromised for PBA Zara and PBA Samira. All right, so you're 4.5, 13. Got some nodules on here, certainly not as many as um, those others though. The first key finding is that nodulation decreases quite quickly as pH decreases in faba beans, so plants are nodulated really well at pH 5. However, as soon as you drop down to pH 4.75, you can see a decrease in nodulation and there's very few nodules at all at pH 4.5 in our um, hydroponic system. For Sadi, these insights are part of the bigger picture to overcome soil acidity constraints in the southern cropping region. So Zara and Samira, they have quite different genetics, so we're just seeing if there's any differences. The longer term perspective of that, if we find differences, then there might actually be opportunity to match um, better plants with better rhizobium and push the pH boundaries of where growers can grow faba bean either, even further. While the new strain might seem like a while away, there's plenty that growers can do, starting with doubling their current rate of inoculation in conjunction with a good liming strategy. The rhizobium themselves are not going to solve all the issues, and so we only see the better inoculant strains as one tool in a toolbox, and farmers will still have to add lime to their soils to raise their pH. Go to the description bar below for the latest information, links and resources.